today I'm going to be walking you through how I made these custom name decals for these color changing mana cups. So for myself, I used Procreate and my iPad and I did a little bit of a time lapse so you can see some of the process. For some of the fonts, I used a font that was right in Procreate and changed the style and drew in some lines and things around it. And for the girls' names, I did do a handwritten font that is my own handwriting style, and I made sure to align and straighten it. But once I have the PNGs converted over to an SVG, I took it over to Cricut Design Space and I cut it out using permanent vinyl in 651 Oracle. And I have an Explore Air 2 for my machine. And here you can see I have put all of the designs pretty close together, but since it's just for myself and I'm the one applying them, I like to save vinyl as much as I can and I don't like to waste since it is a fairly expensive material that I try and, try and do as much as I can to reduce any waste. So you'll see me doing a lot of cutting and reducing the amount of material that I use just by squishing things together. But if I was doing this for a client to apply themselves, I would make sure that it was a square, even sheet and it wasn't hard to apply or get off of the transfer paper or anything like that. So I'm taking my time here. I have sped it up a little bit and you'll see in a few spots that the delicate details do misalign. So I had to straighten it a little bit, but it is a learning curve every single time that you work with materials. And these were some very fine lines and spots but as long as you are paying attention to it, it's an easy fix. And again, just getting rid of any excess vinyl and saving it for another project. So once I've got that done, I do go and I put my transfer paper on and it's a paper-like uh, material that is kind of similar to masking tape. And it's not too sticky, so sometimes it does take a little bit of effort to make sure the deco is sticking to it, but I do like it because it is pretty easy to use and there's no worry about your decal being stuck to your transfer paper. So once I've got all of the decals ready to go, I then move over to my cups that I am prepping with an isopropyl alcohol and I believe it's a 90%. And once I wipe down the cups, I take my decal and I align it and then pressing both horizontally and vertically to ensure that there's no bubbles and that the design is stuck down. And then once I've done that, I do go and I pull at a 45 degree angle or right up against the cup so that the transfer tape is pulling away and not pulling up at the design. So in total I did 12 of these mana color changing cups and they're really neat to work with. For some of the cups you can see my fingerprints on them and that's because I am working in the basement so it is fairly cold down there and from the heat of me just touching these cups is enough to change them a little bit. Some of the cups go from green to blue and I think the blue goes to a purple and the orange goes to kind of like a grayish tone. But depending on the style of the writing and the design, I chose depending if it was like one of the girls names, sometimes they were at an angle or straight up and down and just centering and making sure the guys' names that are in the larger straight font are just centered and look nice before I secure them to the surface. But that's just a little overview at the look of what I do when I'm creating. I haven't worked with these specific cups before until this order, but it is very similar to anything else that you apply a decal to. So in that way, it was really easy to work with. You just got to keep in mind that the curve of that cup can change or alter your initial design. So always pay attention to that. But if you'd like a more in-depth tutorial on anything that I've shown, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and I will be back again with another video. Thanks.